Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Samuel, and this is the Knights of Horror. And today we are going to be watching and dissecting the latest Not Scary Farm announcement video. Are you guys sure you're up for this? So exciting. We can still go back. Shh. We're, we're almost there. No turning back now. Wait, 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 wait. I'm coming. <laughs> we're so busted if we get caught. Oh, it's real dark in here. <laughs> Sick. Shh, shh, shh. This is really giving me the creeps. Can we get out of here? No, no, no. Wait, what's what's over here? <laughs> Whoa! What? What's that? It smells. Wow, what a video package provided for the first announcement from Nuts Scary Farm. Uh, my initial thoughts from this are I really loved how they're continuing on with the conductor aesthetic that they established last year. Um, he's kind of becoming like a meta 
a foric icon for the event. Um, and so, you know, obviously we start with the two people going onto the train um, and then they discover something along the way. And uh, what they do to discover is the maze announcements for this. Um, and so in these maze announcements, what I really thought they did a great job of was splicing together clips of from their previous announcements when these mazes were uh, initially began at Not Scary Farm alongside with some maze footage which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, and the fact that they got that all compressed down into four minutes and 20 seconds was chef's kiss. Um, so first things first, let's get into what was actually announced. Uh, first announcement was Pumpkin Eater is returning, um, which is a maze that we have enjoyed. Uh, definitely not the top of the list, but definitely not in the bottom either. It's a good quality maze. Um, and it's I think this is a, sort of its curtain call. I definitely think it is coming to its end. Next, um, my favorite maze that I have ever went through uh, is Origins here, uh, The Curse of uh, Calico, uh, which, you know, follows, uh, takes a story from Ghost Town Streets and puts it into a maze, which was really cool. In addition to that, it, um, you know, really provides a, a connecting, intertwining, especially back in 2019 when this maze initially debuted, um, with it uh, tying into the intro, uh, Ghost Town Streets, the hanging it's it was a lot there was a lot of comprehensive storytelling um and i really enjoy walking through this maze every time and i definitely do find something new every time so i'm excited to see that this maze is returning in addition i definitely think another maze here uh that was announced is dark ride a maze that is also coming towards the end of its time here at not scary farm i believe uh but still a favorite in my book um it's always a fun time uh, the fact that they're able to intertwine both uh, the scare actors um, and these like uh, fun little effects that you would get if you were riding a dark ride at like a festival or a little carnival thing, which is always a good time. Um, another one, Dark Entities. Um, if you've been a follower of this channel for a long time, you know that I have a, a love for this maze. And I always hope every year, I hope that they're going to announce that it's going to get the special ops treatment. Um, and so I get to uh, live my uh, Dead Space fantasies in this maze. Um, this has been a, a maze that we enjoy. Typically, one of the lowest wait times of the evening. So it's something that's nice to be able to walk in there, get on there, either walk in or maybe wait 10 minutes tops, which is always a nice time. Um, uh, another returning maze is a maze that uh, debuted last year, uh, Mesmer, uh, which is, I believe, Tony's favorite maze. Uh, I'm glad to see that that is going to be returning. Um, I know that since that maze uh, debuted last year, I've gotten the opportunity to watch uh, Sharp Production, who did like a like a daytime walkthrough of it, and and really developed more of a love for that maze. So I'm excited to be able to see the little touches of detail that they uh, showed in their video, um, and, and maybe go through that red door. If you know, you know. Um, in addition, we have the Daps, which was probably one of my favorite mazes in 2019. Um, it's a really cool, cool maze. I love the ideas. Um, you know, it's got the uh, the cookbook. If you know, you know. Um, so it's really a good time. Uh, I'm excited to see that one returning. Um, last but and certainly not least, we have the return of Waxworks, another maze from 2019 that debuted alongside Origins um, in a video that we love dearly. Um, so we're really excited to see these announcements. I know that Paranormal obviously had its last year back in 2019. Or not 2019, I'm sorry guys. Back in 2021. Um, so I'm excited to see what will be replacing that. I anticipate that's going to be an announcement that we'll be getting later down the road. I definitely think um, coming up next, you know, obviously we have some room for shows um scare zones um and then i definitely think once we get all of the returning stuff i definitely think we'll have some more time for a new announcement or maybe two i'm kind of hoping that they do bring back a maze back to the mystery lodge so we'll see what is what there um but you know fingers crossed that we get uh, a maze um for paranormal which we know we're happening at this point because of the photos we have been seeing um and maybe something in the mystery lodge um uh, because i can never have too much knots mazes so I'm really excited. Um, but for uh, some more thoughts, let's uh, let's shoot it on over to Tony. Well, thank you, Sammy. I'll take it from here. Uh, as I can see from his excitement and my excitement, we are very excited to see Knott's 
having all these returning mazes. We got Waxworks. We got the Depths. We got Dark Entities. We got Origins. We've got Pumpkin Eater. We've got Dark Ride. And we've got Mesmer. I think that's all of them. So that's a bunch of, that's like what, seven returning houses? Uh, a lot of fan favorites right there. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm overall excited for the event. Uh, especially because now I'm hearing we're getting two new mazes. Uh, it's been seen in construction with the uh, Mystery Lodge location and the Paranormal location. It's going to be a brand new maze, so I'm excited to see what we get from those this year. But this is a good start right here to get our hype going to see what's returning. Um, we did leave off into a to-be-continued kind of thing, so I'm kind of curious to see what's next for next week, hopefully. Um the last time they did announcements, it was week after week last year. So I'm hoping they do the same thing this year. But I'm excited, man. I mean, not Scary Farm is always a fun time for Sammy and I. And it's one of our favorite haunts of all time. And we just can't wait to be there opening night when the, the, the fog rolls in, that, that opening pre-show um, to get us hyped, and then us going into some of the mazes, seeing the scare zones. Like, I'm, I'm super excited, man. It's going to be a fun year. I can't wait to go back to Knott's. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends have a good time and scared. Uh, hopefully a lot of them are returning. I have no idea yet. So I'm excited. Um, it's looking like it's going to be a good year. I have to say I am excited to go back through Mesmore and Origins again. Those are my two favorites right now. Um, but to go through uh, all the rest, Dark Ride, Pumpkin Eater, uh, Waxworks, The Depths, Dark Entities, um, I, I'm super excited to be going back through those again. And I cannot wait to uh, to to just be in that environment again. It's my happy place. So yeah, knots. We see you. We're excited, and we cannot wait to see what is yet to come uh, as far as shows go, as far as new mazes, um, returning uh, scare zones. I cannot wait to see. So, with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. And that subscribe with the, with the bell notification be aware every time I put up a new video. Follow us on social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. And be sure to stay tuned because if Knott's releases any more announcements, which they are going to, we'll be right here covering them for you. Same thing with Horror Nights, same thing with any haunt in the SoCal area. I love each and every one of you. See you guys real soon.